The American saguaro, Carnegie gigante, grows primarily in central to southern Arizona. Although there is a small community in southeast California along the southern portion of the Colorado River, just before it empties into the Sea of Cortes of western Mexico. The Carnegie gigante, saguaro, and Pachycerius pringali, Cardan, are very similar cacti with extremely dissimilar growth rates. The saguaro can grow over 50 feet, or 15 meters, tall with many branching arms, but it may take up to 75 years for it to develop its arms, and some specimens may live to twice that age. The champion saguaro in Arizona is the largest known saguaro and is over 40 feet, or 12 meters, tall with a 10 feet, or 3 meters, trunk. Their growth rate is directly dependent on the amount of water they receive, but they are considered extremely slow growing regardless of regular irrigation or not. While the saguaro is native to the Sonoran Desert in Arizona, the Pachycerius pringali, or cardan, is native to the Mexican states of Baja. It is the tallest cactus species known, with a record height of 63 feet, or 19 meters, tall. There are physical differences between the two plants, but they highly resemble each other. If planted recessed in a drought-tolerant garden, they can add both texture and clean architectural lines. Argentine saguaro, Trichocarius terstechii, is from South America, has light ivory-colored flowers, and produces huge white trumpet-shaped flowers. The spine color tends to be a golden yellow and spine length can be highly variable, ranging from 1 to 2 centimeters up to 1 decimeter. It can grow just as tall as the Arizona saguaro, but it begins branching much sooner and closer to the base of the main stem. The branches typically grow very close to the main stem almost as if hugging or protecting the stem. Terschecii has fewer, but longer spines than saguaros. The flowers are also larger and have longer floral tubes, and can bloom any time between April and October, while saguaro flowers mainly appear only in May and June. The Mexican cardan, Pachycerius pringali, that grows in the North Baja Peninsula, Baja California Norte, has dense protective spines when young, but becomes mostly spineless as it matures into a massive specimen tree. Cardinal arms grow lower down than those of a saguaro cactus and they do not have as many spines. Also, if you look carefully, their folds are deeper and wider than those of the saguaro. The color of the cardan cactus is also a grayer color of green than the saguaro. When small the American saguaro and the Mexican cardan look very similar, each covered by dense thickets of spines. Look closely and you'll see the cardan typically has more spines than the saguaro. Depending on where they came from, the bodies of both could be fat or skinny. However, cardan tends to be very narrow at the bottom. Growing to maturity, all three species of columnar cacti no longer waste resources producing spines. Cardan is probably the most pronounced at giving up its spines once the column's robustness no longer needs protection from herbivores. A spineless cardan exposes its very beautifully azure blue epidermis color tone. In terms of growth rates Terschecii probably grows the fastest in just about any climate. It will branch the earliest, is very cold hardy, and gives you the most bang for your buck in the shortest amount of time. It is therefore highly recommended for most cactus gardens. Cardan is the second fastest growing, but prefers a mild coastal climate that does not often see frost. If you grow it in a frosty climate you can wrap it in an insulation material to prevent damage during frosty periods. If you're in a climate with severe extended freezes, you'll need to bring it inside a warm shelter. The Arizona saguaro is more hardy than cardan, but not as rugged as Trichocarius terschecii. Saguaro is the slowest growing of the three columnar cactus species. However, for many cactus collectors it is the most famous and most desirable. Saguaro can be had in large sizes 1 meter and up, coming from construction harvested rescue operations in some of Arizona's largest metropolitan areas, such as Maricopa County, which are expanding rapidly. 
To move a large old growth saguaro can be quite an investment, ranging in the thousands of dollars to dig, transport, then replant the tree in your landscape.